All right, let us look at this problem. Express 2 to the power of 2016 minus 2 to the power of 2015 whole divided by 64 as a power of 2 and without using a calculator. The maximum time limit is 2 minutes. So usually we come across this type of math problems in high school math competitions, especially during ciphering round. Okay, in order to solve this problem, we need to know some basic properties of exponents. Let me write them here. For example, if I have a to the power of m times a to the power of n. See, in this multiplication, the bases are equal. So, you add those exponents. I'll write a to the power of m plus n. That is, if you have 3 to the power of 5 times 3 to the power of 4, the product of those two is going to be 3 to the power of 5 plus 4. I can write it as 3 to the ninth power. And if you do it backwards, suppose if you have, uh, let us say, 2 to the power of 12. So 2 to the power of 12, if you want to write as a product of two factors, you can change it as 2 to the power of 10 times 2 squared because 10 plus 2 is 12. Or if you want, you can write 2 to the power of 11 times 2 because it is 11 plus 1 is again 12. According to our convenience, we can just change it and write it down. So let us look at the problem here. On the numerator, we have 2 to the power of 2016 minus 2 to the power of 2015. So we are seeing that this exponent is 1 more than the other exponent. Therefore, we can express 2 to the power of 2016 in terms of 2 to the power of 2015 as follows. So, I'll write this as 2 to the power of 2015 times 2 to the power of 1. Okay, so 2016 is separated as 2015 plus 1, making use of this uh, product property of exponents. And uh, the next term, the 2 to the power of 2015, you can leave it as it is. You don't change. Now in the denominator, you have 64. Let us just bring down 64. Now, in my next term, you can see that this 2 to the power of 2015, we have, and also 2 to the power of 2015 on the second part. And uh, it is just one time I can write 1 for our convenience. 2 to the power of 2015 times 1 is just the same thing. So, let us go ahead and take out 2 to the power of 2015 as a common factor between those two terms in your numerator. So, that gives you 2 to the power of 2015. Take it out as common factor, leaving behind 2 in this first term, minus, so write down minus 1. So, we didn't change anything. It is just the same 2 to the power of 2015 times 2 I have there. And this is times 1. Okay. And in the denominator, continue with 64. Alright. Now, in the next term, I mean next step, 2 to the power of 2015 times 2 minus 1 is 1 only. And in the denominator, this 64, you can rewrite, you can change 64 as you know the 64, its factors are, I, I'm trying to write 64 in terms of 2. So, because everything is in terms of 2, like the base is 2 I have, okay. So, 64, 2 can divide 64, 32 times. Again, 2 divides 32. 
16 times 2 can divide 16 8 times 2 divides 8 4 times again 2 can divide 4 2 times all together how many 2's we have here 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so i'll write 64 as 2 to the power of 6 right 64 is written in the exponential form as 2 to the power of 6 the same thing now now we are left with 2 to the power of 2015 times 1 over 2 to the power of 6 that is same thing numerator is 2 to the power of 2015 over 2 to the power of 6 here i have to make use of uh, dividing the pro the division property of exponents it is like a to the power of m over a to the power of n gives you a to the power of m minus n for example if you have 5 to the 4 over 5 square it is going to be 5 to the power of 4 minus 2 using that property this uh, our problem changes to 2 to the power of 2015 minus 6 this one like 2015 is your m and the 6 is n so m minus n resulting 2 to the power of 2009 so the given problem 2 to the power of 2016 minus 2 to the power of 2015 divide 64 on simplification it can be expressed as 2 to the power of 2009 that is the answer as you practice more of these problems you will definitely be able to solve it in less than two minutes once you know these uh, basic concepts of properties of exponents you can separate those factors and uh, uh, simplify accordingly so once you have this in your mind please go ahead and uh, tr try to answer these problems the first one is 2 to the power of 2016 minus 2 to the power of 2010 divided by 126 express it as a power of 2 and in the next problem it is uh, expressed as a power of 3 everything is same just uh, we change some denominator those numbers but you should be able to figure out similarly try the third and fourth problem here 2 to the power of x is added 8 times which is equal to square root of 2 whole to the 12th power and here we have to solve that is you are going to find the value of x x equal to how much try to solve it for the value of x and also in the fourth problem they gave us 2 to the power of x is equal to 2 to the power of 6 minus 2 to the power of 5 times 2 to the power of 4 minus 2 cube please try thank you